Now, ACC is of course a very prestigious qualification. How difficult are the ACC exams? Whether it is difficult or not, that as an average student who has been an average student in the school or the college, can they do ACC? are the ACC exams? Is this question on your mind? Then keep on watching this video. Hi everyone, I am ACC Dishal Chauhan of Proud Fin Trammer and also an ACC faculty. Welcome, welcome to this video. Today we will be discussing on a very important topic, a question which many students have that how difficult are the ACC exams? So let's get started. Now, ACC is of course a very prestigious qualification. It is recognized in more than 180 plus countries. It is a professional qualification. So you need to know this before you start because if it is a professional qualification, it is going to be rigorous, it is going to be demanding. So whether it is difficult or not, it is going to differ from student to student, right? But many students have this question that as an average student who has been an average student in the school or maybe college, can they do ACC? So the answer is definitely yes. I myself was an ACC member. I would say I was an average student. Uh, I was never, you know, coming first in class or anything like that. But I cleared all my ACC exams in first attempt except for one exam. So yes, it is very much possible if you stay motivated and have that dedication and willing to put in that hard work. So how exactly, how difficult are those exams, right? So firstly, ACC exams require that you understand the concept, that you understand the subject, the syllabus, everything, right? There is no rote learning. So don't think that, oh, I will just mug up a page. I'll just, you know, I'm good at that. Maybe some people are good at it. So I'll be able to do it. No, there is no rote learning, my friend. You have to understand the concept. Students who understand the concept, they are, you know, better able to tackle the exams. Their chances of clearing the exams are more. And you see those students actually clearing the exams than those students who are just, you know, just trying to understand it for the sake of it and you know not putting in that effort also so firstly don't just learn or understand the concept just for the sake of the exam think about it how this will be useful for your life for example if you are let's say at a skill level and you are uh, doing let's say fr exam right financial reporting just don't think that, oh, there are so many IFRS or uh, Indian, uh, you know, or IAS, uh, international standards, that I just need to learn about them and, you know, just get done with it. No, this is something that you will be using in your workplace also. So it's important you understand all of those IFRS, you understand the concept, their application, what are the rules regarding them, everything, right? Your conceptual knowledge definitely has to be really good. And that is very, very important. If your concepts are clear, then I really think for those students, ACC exams are not difficult. But if your concepts are not clear, if you're not putting in that hard work, then definitely you will feel that it is very difficult. Now, if I talk about the levels, starting off knowledge level, I would say is going to be very easy, I would say, for those students who have a commerce background whether you have done 11th and 12th commerce or let's say you've done your college bcom honors or bcom something like that right for them it's going to be fairly easy um uh, of course as a bcom graduate you would any which ways have exemptions because you like you would have covered that but if you are even coming from a science background i would say it is not uh, impossible to understand all of that it is still fairly simple but of course in comparison to a commerce student you will find it a little more difficult but at the skill level it's pretty much going to be same for everyone because now you have gained that knowledge the basics you have either you have from your past studies right from your college or uh, your school your commerce if you've done but uh, when you are at the skill level, even if you are coming, let's say, from a science background, you would have given your knowledge level and now you have that basic knowledge of accountancy, of business. So at skill level, you all will probably feel at the same level in terms of difficulty. And here comes the thing that those students who focus on the concepts, who actually enjoy learning new things, 
they are going to not find it super difficult. Now, I myself, from my personal experience, I can share that I never gave an exam or studied for it from the point of view that, okay, I just have to do it because I have to clear this exam and then just forget about it. No, I always did it from the point that, okay, this is something that I will also use it in my workplace. When I was working in one of the big fours in audit and when studying the audit and assurance paper, so I studied all of the concepts and I actually saw that, okay, this is something that I actually use in my workplace. So it's great. I need to understand it and apply it not only in my exam, but actually in my workplace. So yes, you have to study from that point of view. Even if you're not working, it's fine. But you need to understand that whatever you're learning, it will be used in the future. So make sure you're not just learning or understanding that concept from the point of view that I just have to clear that exam. Another very important point is a lot of hard work. Yes, it is a professional qualification, so you have to put in hard work. When we were in school, remember, the 10th boards and 12th boards were the main part, right? It didn't really, nobody really asked how much you scored in 9th or 11th, but everyone was there calling that, okay, what was your result on your 12th boards or 10th boards, right? So similarly, it is a professional qualification. It is important. It is you know a career defining thing so it's not going to be super easy definitely but at the same time i will not say it is super difficult because of the flexibility that acca offers yes acca gives you the choice that you can decide which attempt you want to give exam which paper you want to give in what order in a particular level so at skill level you know you don't have to really start from uh, PM exam. You, I could start from FR. I could start from double A's. It's my choice. So this flexibility that ACC offers that I can give one paper at a time. I can even skip a seating if I want to. Makes this course far more easier than other professional qualifications. This is actually a, I can say definitely a fact. Many students feel that the flexibility is actually a very, very important aspect of this course. And because of it, it doesn't feel that much difficult because you know if imagine if you were told that no you have to give three exams at one sitting and you have to clear all those three then of course you would feel that burden and you would feel that it's so difficult but once you've given this choice that it's up to you you can give whenever you want to whichever sitting you want to whichever order you want to it automatically becomes easier and it reduces a lot of stress i would say so yes ACC is a rigorous qualification this demanding it you know require students to study put in that effort but at the same time it offers a lot of flexibility so that you are not stressed out uh, too much uh, during the year you can plan accordingly as per your other commitments so acc is it difficult is it not difficult this is a question which goes on and you know as people do acc also at a particular level also they have this question so all i can say is if you have that motivation and you know that it's such a amazing qualification it's a professional qualification there are going to be so many benefits at the end when i clear it. it's going to be all worth it so i think when you have this picture in your mind it becomes a lot more easier for you because you stay then motivated the important thing is definitely to stay motivated put in that hard work for some reason if you're not able to study and you're not able to put in that hard work then don't give in a sitting it's not necessary that you have to give in all sitting so you have to decide you are the best judge of your schedule so you know looking at all of that you should plan your exams because nobody is asking you to give two papers at a time you can simply give one paper so decide and just focus on that one paper and you have enough time two three months you have for preparation so i feel then it doesn't really become super difficult and people can definitely clear it even as an average student so i hope this video was helpful if so do hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. It really keeps us motivated to, you know, make this content for you. So make sure you subscribe and you can visit our website to, you know, know about if you want to take up any coaching for any subject or you just want to take, let's say, revision bootcamp, question marathon, uh, you know, just want to prepare, do a fast track course sort of thing so everything is available all you have to do is visit our website in case you have any other queries don't worry you can comment down below and i will see you soon till then this is Disha Chauhan signing off